Hi all, welcome to this session. So, Kaiser session we will learn how an EMF is induced in a coil when it rotates in a magnetic field. So, in this session we are going to learn some of the terms in the alternating current like peak value, RMS value, mean value, etc. Before that, we have to find out or we have to learn what is the period and frequency of alternating current. You can you can see this is an alternating current, right? This is the alternating current, the x axis you can see current or voltage, the y axis, is, sorry, in the x axis you can see angular part where theta equals to omega t, and in the y axis you can see current or voltage, and this is a wave. Is it? You can see a term which is called PD. I'm current period. What is what do you mean by PD? Ninga could effect on the angle. Ethra Samayan Kaina effect repeating. Ada now do effect in the period on the way. You know, 24 hours are number earth in the rotation. So after 24 hours, it is repeating the same effect. Other volume, you wave in the shape in the Noki Kaina. After this 2 pi, the wave is the shape of the wave is repeat. So the period of the wave is 2 pi here. The period of the wave is the effect of the wave is the the period of the wave. So in this case, the period of the wave is 2 pi because after 2 pi, the effect is same. Clear? So in an alternating current, the period of an AC wave is 2 pi. Period of the wave is 2 pi on here distance. So another thing is their frequency. Frequency is nothing but it is the number of cycles. So this, this is a period of one cycle. This is the number of one cycle. One cycle complete and a the period of the And the number of cycles passing through a point in one second is called frequency. And which is called frequency. One point is coding, one point is considered one second to go to the cycle. That's the frequency. So it is nu equal to 1 by t. So this is the frequency of the AC wave. If you know the frequency and period is inversely proportional. Period of the period frequency for a period of the period of frequency for a period of the 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 period of so that the frequency increases but period decreases so this is the relation between frequency and period and the peak value is nothing but it is the amplitude of current or voltage in the positive or in the negative direction. Peak value of the AC wave is the positive direction or negative direction. Maximum amplitude amplitude is the peak value of alternating current. So here, this is the point. This is the peak value or this is the peak value. So when you have peak to peak value, the peak to peak value is the most important thing. The distance is peak to peak. We are only taking the peak value, which is the amplitude of the maximum value of the current or voltage in the positive or in the negative direction. And this is the peak value. Next, we have to learn what is the mean value of the alternating current. Ningo karayam is arithmetic mean, like mean value is the sum divided by number. So, uh, let n be the number of times. Uh, times in the sum on s and gil, s by n is arithmetic mean. If you want to know what is the arithmetic mean of the current here, if you want to know what is the arithmetic mean of the current over a full cycle, you can consider the full cycle. 2 pi is full cycle. And you have to sum all the current. So you can see numerous current points are here, right? Numerous current points are here. 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 So you have to sum all the current points there and divide it by what? 2 pi. Then you will get the arithmetic mean. First, you will know the arithmetic mean. If the infinite number of points are there, we can't take summation and we need to do integration. We integration here. So, integration is nothing but the area under the curve. About 0 to t by 2 is a t by 2 point. 0 to t by 2 in the area is the area of t by 2 to t by 2. That is the positive area angle, add the half, add the half cycle, negative area angle. So that what is the sum of the current over the full cycle? It is zero. And the zero is two. Because symmetric is the one. Positive area is the one. Atramatram negative area is the one. Sum zero. That is the one. Then 
നമ്മൾ ഒരിക്കലും ഓൾട്ടർനേറ്റിംഗ് കറണ്ട് മീൻ വാല്യൂ ഓവർ ദ ഫുൾ സൈക്കിൾ എടുക്കത്തില്ല കാരണം ഫുൾ സൈക്കിൾ എടുത്താൽ എന്താ പറ്റുന്നത് ദ ആൻസർ വിൽ ബി സീറോ സോ ഇൻ ഓൾവേസ് യു ആർ ടേക്കിംഗ് ദ മീൻ വാല്യൂ ഓവർ ദി ഹാഫ് സൈക്കിൾ ഹാഫ് സൈക്കിളിലുള്ള അർത്ഥമാറ്റിക് മീൻ വാല്യൂ ആണ് നമ്മൾ എടുക്കുന്നത് സോ ദ എക്സ്പ്രഷൻ ഫോർ ദി ഓൾട്ടർനേറ്റിംഗ് കറണ്ട് അർത്ഥമാറ്റിക് മീൻ ഓഫ് ദി ഓൾട്ടർനേറ്റിംഗ് കറണ്ട് ഈ സം ഓഫ് ദി കറൻസ് ഓവർ ദി ഹാഫ് സൈക്കിൾ ഡിവൈഡഡ് ബൈ ദ പീരീഡ് ഓഫ് ദ ഹാഫ് സൈക്കിൾ ഇതാണ് നമ്മൾ ചെയ്യേണ്ട ഫോർമുല first you have to find out what is the sum of the currents over the half cycle ningal idu mudal idu vare kootana so you have to integrate the expression alle integrate cheyanda engena irikka we have to integrate from 0 to t by 2 nammal t by 2 vare edukkunnullu karena full edutha the answer will be zero so integral 0 to t by 2 i dt alle appo you will get what is the sum of the current over the half cycle integral 0 to t by 2 i dt divided by half of the period which is t by 2 <coughs> then you will get the arithmetic mean of the current so here i mean is taken over the half cycle not over the full cycle just substitute the expression expression substitute the just integrate this expression you will get the mean value of the alternating current so this is the expression so we have to substitute with t we know what is omega omega equal to 2 pi by t or 2 pi nu on omega so om angular frequency is 2 pi by t capital t samayam konde adu form cheyda angular displacement ennu parna 2 pi for t ennu parna the period taken the period which is taking which is taken to complete one full rotation or one full rotation edukkuna samayam aanu period ennu parayunnathu adu etra etra aayikum appolla angular displacement 2 pi aayikum avante angular displacement For a period t, angan ana ko unit samay ko na try ayri ko is 2 pi by t. So omega equal to 2 pi by t. So the expression for period is 2 pi by omega. Expression for the period is 2 pi by omega. Adan di ay bla substitute ya to so that you will get t by 2 is nothing but pi by omega. T by 2 is pi by omega. So integral 0 to pi by omega. I ko byam you can substitute I am sin omega t dt divided by pi by what pi by omega sorry here pi by omega pi by omega the integral zero to pi by omega i am sin omega t dt divided by pi by omega end kittum so omega molipom i am is constant so the answer is what i am omega by pi i am omega by pi integral sin omega t what is the integral value of sin omega t minus cos omega t so minus cos omega t by omega within limit 0 to pi by omega within limit 0 to pi by omega So sin omega t is minus cos omega t by omega which is limit 0 to pi by omega. Just substitute the limit when t takes pi by omega it is cos pi. What is cos pi? It is minus 1. Then if you take 0 it is cos 0 it is 1. So you will get the answer as i am omega by pi i am omega by pi. so the minus is here nammal limit edukkumbo you will get minus 1 minus 1 it is minus 2 into minus 1 it is plus 2 so you will get 2 you will get into 2 so the general answer is is i the expression for current i equal to what it is 2 im by pi 2 i am by pi this is the expression for the curve 2 i am by pi engena kitti just substitute i mean sorry this is the value for the mean value of the current i mean so for getting i mean you have to take the sum of the current over the half cycle divided by half cycle substitute t by 2 as pi pi by omega just integrate just substitute t by 2 here it is pi by omega just integrate the expression and the sin omega t the integral value it is minus cos omega t by pi sorry minus cos omega t by omega just 
put the upper limit and lower limit you will get this is the you will get two uh, common at i m omega by pi on the so the arithmetic mean value i mean value is two i m by pi and if you take two by pi you will get 0.637 so i mean value is 0.637 so i mean value is 0.637 i m similarly what is e mean value arithmetic mean or mean value of the emf it is 0.637 i m and this is the relation between mean value and the peak value so arithmetic mean kitta sradhikana nammal over the half cycle aanu cheyyunnathu half cycle ningal avane integrate cheya divided by half cycle is t by 2 just find out what the expression for the period just substitute in the integral expression t by 2 divided by pi by omega uduka sin omega t integrate cheya you will get i mean equal to 2 i m by pi so 2 by pi is 0.637 and this is the value for i mean either impulse and ningal note cheyina and similarly then uh, value of emf is 0.637 em so next you have to write what is the root mean square value of alternating current i rms i rms etra aanu ningal enike ezhudi assignment aayittu irunna what is root mean square value for that it is the square root of the arithmetic mean of the squares of the current ipo i1 um i2 um onna rendu current aanengil i rms nu parna just take the arithmetic mean of the squares of the current i1 square plus i2 square divided by 2 so that you got arithmetic mean of the squares of the current then take the square root then take the square root this is the rms value ningal cheyandathu you have to find out what is the rms value ide expression avada namak endu kodukkam you can take the rms value of the full cycle karena negative value square cheyunnathunda adu endu aagum positive aipol so here the expression will be first you have to find out the squares of the current over the full cycle appo endu cheyanam 0 to the whole period 0 to t i dt alla ningal kandupidikkanda you have to find out i square dt then you will get the sum of the squares of the current divided by the period t so you got the arithmetic mean of the squares of the current appo cheyanda aadyam ningal aare kandupidikkanam i square kandupidikkanam arithmetic mean of the squares of the current kandupidikkanam adu endha irikkum nothing but 0 to t i square dt divided by t i so it will give you the arithmetic mean of the squares of the current root to end again is in the square root then you will get the rms value just find out what is the rms value what is the same what is the same here you have the expression sin square omega t sin square omega t here in the middle and just find out what is the rms value of the current in my next course thank you hope you understand how the emf is induced in the coil what is the mean value what is the peak value and then finally what is the rms value here you have to do yourself what is the rms value of the alternating current the answer will be it is i0 by root 2 i rms nu parayunnathu i0 by root 2 kittana or im by root 2 the maximum peak value divided by root 2 other kitten okay thank you